Hey everybody! Hello, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Before I get started on this beer review, I want to make a big apology to uh, Johan. He was the one that sent me that uh, the beer that we did for a Beer Review 1000, the uh, Trappist uh, Westerland 12. I thought that, uh, that Mark had sent me that from the Belgian Beer Station, but Johan had sent me the Demolion beers and, the, and that beer. And, and uh, Johan, I apologize for uh, for miss uh, speaking there, and I do appreciate you sending me those beers. Every one of the beers you sent me from over there in the Netherlands were awesome. So please take my uh, sincere apology for misnaming that, and thank you again for sending me that beer, guys. So I just I told him I would uh, uh, make that statement. Uh, I do apologize for making that uh, wrong announcement. Uh, in my old age, uh, I'm, I'm losing it, I guess. I should write this stuff down uh, where th these uh, astronomically special beers come from. So uh, please accept my apology, Johan. Uh, I'll try not to let that happen again, guys. Uh, uh, try to keep the name straight on the, the guys that send me these beers. And sometimes I get one, two, three beer packages a week, so uh, sometimes it's hard for me to, uh, to keep up with it, but uh, it's my fault. It's my, it's my dumbass fault, so I need to, to keep better track of those beers, guys, so hopefully I won't make that mistake again. All right, let's get on with this one. This is Terrapin Side Project number 19, Terrapin Brewery. They're out of it. Georgia. This is a single hop red rye ale using the mosaic hops, and what the mosaic hops is, what they've done, they've taken Simico and Nugget and put them together and they use the the, uh, the mosaic hops exclusively for this brew process so evidently they use it for the bitter the flavor and the aroma hop on this beer for this red rye ale this beer comes in at 6.60 abv uh, it's a side project so they only done it one time so if you want this beer you better grab it because once it's gone it's history guys the uh, food price of this cheeses a sharp blue cheddar the meat is beef poultry and fish Glassware is a pint, Becker Stein, a tumbler, mug, or side ale. I've got the pint glass for this one, guys. And it's 6.6% 6 .6 and it's a hop forward ale. So it's not recommended for extended cellaring. So uh, I don't think there's anything else. Let me just jump over here to rate beer. Volume 19 Mosaic Single Hop Rye Ale Brewer Spike. I guess that's the brewer there. Has an affinity toward rye malt. So this comes, no surprise, freshly harvested from Hop Breeding Company LLC in Yakima Valley. The hops used, Side Project 19 Mosaic came from freshly picked from the fields of Perot Farms to our brewery and to your glass. Known as Hop, known as hop HBC 369 before official naming in 2011. Mosaic is a daughter, like I said, of Semico and Nugget. And the best of both worlds from this new humanist lupus. We use 100% mosaic throughout the brewing process to utilize the flavor that is this world-class hop has to offer. So, really looking forward to this one, guys. So, without further ado, I love the way that these just come right off. And you ain't got to pick them off in little bitty pieces. Thumbs up on that one, guys, for doing that. So, uh, let's get the cap off this bad boy. I don't think it's dated on here. Because these side projects are brewed once, so uh, you basically need to know what's going on, and you can go to their website, and it'll tell you when it was done. So this is the bomber, 22 ounce. This is big, so I'm gonna share some of this. So let's see what Justin brings. See if we get any kind of head on this. I'm gonna pour it semi-aggressive here. All right. All right. It is definitely a reddish, amber reddish color. Kind of dark red too. Uh, a little darker than most of them. Very clear though. I can see the bulb right through it. Got quite a few bubbles streaming up from the bottom of the glass. Looks very, very good. About a finger of head on that semi-aggressive pour. Let's get a nose on it. See what the mosaic is all about, guys. Oh yeah. 
I'm a big fan of the Terrapin Brewery. They do a lot of great stuff on the side project stuff. And I like their regular stuff, the Hopsecutioner and a lot of the regular stuff that was side project. They've turned into their uh, all year round beer. So. Wow. Grapefruit, pine, rice, big rye on, on nose on this one. Very citrusy. Wow. Smells very good, guys. Uh, I don't know if I've had the Mosaic Hop before. It's not ring, ringing a bell, and I'm a big fan of Simcoe, and I grow Nugget out here. So, uh, Simcoe has been proprietary, and I think it may still be, but I have some underground information that I may be able to get some of that stuff. So, I'm going to try to give me some Simcoe rhizomes and get some of them growing out here in the backyard, guys. So, without further ado, cheers. Big hot presence on this. Very nice. Piney. Citrusy. Very hot forward. Big rye malt backbone on this one too. Oh yeah. Very tasty. There's some caramel and toffee in there mixed in with it. Wow. I could drink this every day. <laughs> a lot of the subs say, we can judge how good the beard Greg does this, but how many times he takes a sip out of it before he sets the glass down? Done drank half of it before I set it down, so I thought I'd tell you guys, it's pretty tasty. Real tasty. First beer of the day today. Wow, I love this. I'm going to I'm going to have to pour a little bit more in the glass. Let's give her a sip. What do you think? Nah, that'd be wrong. Guys, stick around. I'll be back. We'll do the final chug. It's 40 degrees right out of the fridge. I love it so far. Let's see if I still feel the same way in a minute. Be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. Look at the lacing on that glass. Looks like it's got soap bubbles in there. It's so heavy. Wow. <laughs> this is a delicious beer, guys. I might have to go back and pick up a couple more of these bottles. I don't think it was that expensive. I only think this bottle is about seven bucks. So, damn sure worth that much money. So, uh. Wow, the hop still uh, after it's warmed up, it's just it's so pleasant. Wow, the taste is so balanced between the hops and the malt for a red rye ale. It's delicious. Uh, maybe one of the better uh, red rye ales that I've ever had, guys. So that being said, final chug. Delicious. To me, even at 6.6, .6, there is no alcohol there at all. Very sessionable. And she loved it. She she absolutely loved it. So uh, I give her the other half of the glass, uh, the other half of the bottle. So uh, she's in there drinking it right now. So it's very delicious, guys. It's definitely worth picking up if you if it's, even if you're not into the to the to red ales. This has got such a hoppy uh, presence to it that it could pass for 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 an IPA. So it's a Pretty tasty, guys. So that being said, I'm going to give it 9 out of 10. It's, it's that good. It's definitely an A beer. Uh, if you've had it, give me some comments back on this one. Beer, uh, Rate Beer has 97 overall and 99 in the style. Beer Advent comes up with 86 in their good rating. And they don't even have a picture of it. So it's fairly new, I guess, since nobody's uploaded a picture of this bottle on, on their website yet. So let me know if you've had it or if you've seen it or if you've... Uh, if you, if you like a, a red ale, I would, I would suggest picking it up. I really would. So, Like I said, I'm going to try to go back and get at least a bottle or two more of it. So, with that being said, guys, rate, comment, subscribe, hit the like button. Let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. See you there.